Meet Dr. Robert Greer. He's a professor of pathology, medicine, and dentistry at the University of Colorado Health Sciences Center. He works on the front lines of the war on cancer. My job involves diagnosing diseases that are in the head and neck area using laboratory methods. In addition to seeing patients and teaching, Dr. Greer leads a team of researchers who are working at identifying viral agents that may cause cancer. Now that's the most positive of the one I've seen. A universe and a few miles away, C.J. Floyd surveys his home turf along the mean streets of Denver. This tough Vietnam vet turned bail bondsman is on the front lines of a very different war against the bad guys who prey on the citizens of our great city. It's hard to imagine two men with less in common than Dr. Robert Greer and C.J. Floyd, but in fact, they are one and the same, one firmly grounded in the world of science, the other the product of a rich and prolific imagination. Dr. Robert Greer makes the transition from science to fiction in his home office, writing crime mysteries and medical thrillers. At one time, I considered to be an outlet, an outlet for enjoyment. It went from an outlet basically to sort of a hobby, and, and then when you get on the fast track so that you, you do these sort of, you get these dreams that writers dream of. You have a publisher and they always want a new novel and, and uh, they like you and that sort of stuff. Pretty soon you find out you're writing a novel a year. And this has resulted in a pretty impressive collection of work. So far he's written five C.J. Floyd novels, a couple of medical thrillers, and a collection of short stories. On the surface, Dr. Greer created C.J. Floyd to be a character as dissimilar to himself as possible. But on closer inspection, they have more in common than you might think. He's a collector of things. That's probably the biggest thing that we have in common. What you're looking at here are what we call Canyon City Spurs. They take uh, the basic spur itself and then lay silver onto it. They're relatively rare. And then you can see the prisoner who made it. He has his initials on there, AK. And they made them in the prisons. They don't do it anymore. But they did it from 18... 895 up through the 1930s they did it. Another passion that CJ and Greer share is collecting license plates. This one of course is a Colorado plate from 1958 and you might say well what's unique about that 1958 isn't so long ago it's the only Colorado plate that they ever put a skier on. 